This video focuses on Chapter 9, Skills Review 926 through 928. We're going to start by opening up your Chapter 9 data files folder, um, opening up 9-3, AI 9-3. We're going to create a graph, edit a graph using the graph data window, use the group selection tool, use the graph type dialog box, create a combination graph, create a custom graph de design, apply a custom design to a graph, and create and apply a sliding scale design. Sounds like a bunch of stuff, and it is, but there are a series of functions that kind of go all together. I'm going to enlarge my artboard just a little bit so we can see that a little clearly, more clearly. I'm not going to be using my color guide, so I don't need that. Okay, step one. Open AI 9.3, then save it as nice weather. Save it on my desktop, hit save, say OK. Step two, click the column graph tool, which is located down here. It looks like a little graph. You can hover over, and it's also J on your keyboard. Then click the artboard just once. Step three, type six in the width text box and hit tab. Type four in the height te text box, then click OK. Step four, delete the number one from the first cell in the graph data window. Press tab to select the next cell in the first row. You're in the second column. Step six, type rain. Press tab, type sun. Press tab, type clouds. Press tab. Step seven, click the second cell in the first column, which is right here. Type June. Press enter on a PC and return on a Mac. Type August, or I'm sorry, type July, return, and then August, return. Step eight, enter the rest of the data that is supplied in the upper left corner of the artboard to fill in the cells underneath rain, sun, and clouds. So, 10. Return, 4 return, 7 return, 18 return, 22, 20, 3, 4, 4. Close the graph data window and save your work. Move the graph onto the artboard if it's not already fully on it and mine is not. Edit a graph using the graph data window. Step one, delete the text at the top of the artboard. So we'll go ahead and delete that text. Click the graph to select it. Click object on the menu bar, point to graph, which is at the bottom. Then click data. Click the cell that contains the number seven and change it to eight. Step five, click the cell that contains the number 20 and change it to 19. Step six, drag the graph data window down slightly to view the artboard, which we're doing. Then click the apply button in the graph data window. That's right here. You notice now that all of the information has been supplied and adjusted in the graph data window and on the artboard and in the graph. Close the graph data window and save your work. Deselect the graph, then click the group selection tool. That's located under the direct selection tool, and it's got a little plus next to it in the rollout. Step two, 
we're under use the group selection tool again um, that's at the bottom middle of Illustrator 9-26 again step two click the first black column above the Drune label click it a second time then click it a third time to select the rain group so what I did now is I selected this once selected this this black one here selected it twice it's so it's still instead of you it's the same as if you hold down shift but it, it just then selects everything under this same category under the same group step three change the fill color of the select selected columns to green so I'll go ahead I like to have my swatches open so um, and I can't really see them very clearly oh there they go so I'll change that to green Step four, change the fill color of the sun group to yellow. So the sun is the medium gray. I'll go ahead and do a um, select, 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 and I've got all of those selected, and I will upgrade that to a yellow. Step five, change the fill color of the clouds group to a shade of blue. So one, two, three, and we will upgrade that to a shade of blue. Save your work. Control S. Use the graph type dialog box. Step one, click the selection tool, then click the graph. Click object on the menu bar, point to graph, then click type. Step three, click the Add Drop Shadow checkbox if it's not already selected to add a drop shadow. Step four, click the Graph Options List arrow, which is up here at the top of that menu. Then click Value Axis. Step five, click the Length List arrow in the tick mark section. And click Full Width if it is not already selected. Mine was not. Click OK and save your work. Control S. Now we're going to create a combination graph, the top of Illustrator page 9-27. Deselect the graph, then using the group selection tool, back over here again. Again, if you don't have that, it's under the direct selection tool. Click, hold it down, and then roll down. Select the entire sun group. So again, the sun group is yellow. One, two, three. We've got all of those selected. Step two, click object on the menu bar. Point to graph. Then click type. Step three, click the line button. the line button type style graph I think it's under here there we go line for a minute I got was, was stumped um, step four click the add drop shadow checkbox to deselect the option we do not want that with the drop shadow step five click the edge to edge lines checkbox and that would be right here down at the bottom under options step six verify that both the marked data points and connected data points which they are um, are, are checked and then check click OK step seven click the artboard to deselect the graph now we have some data entered in um, step eight using the group selection tool select the line that connects the markers and the small corresponding line in the legend. So you just need to triple click in one area because we're using the group selection tool. It then finds what you want um, within that group. Step nine, change the stroke rate weight of that line to 10 point. You can just head up over here and bump it up to 10. Step 10, remove the fill color from the line 
You do not want to fill color. So if you have a fill color, do this and hit none. Then change the stroke color of the line to yellow. So then make sure your stroke is in front. Go to your swatches, go to yellow. Step 11, save your work, compare your graph to figure 26, then close the nice weather document. Control S and you're done with that one.